have a very important message for you today. Authentic is the new cool, duh. And the way that you guys are, your presence, your authenticity, what you exude, it leaves people feeling charged. They feel euphoric. It makes them think, it makes them ponder, it makes them self-reflect. And for others, you leave them stunned, you leave them speechless, you leave them obsessed and wanting more. So what I'm getting is you guys have really started bringing in the things that you want to manifest. And now you're wondering like, okay, well, what's next? I'm a healer. What I've been working on is taking roots. I'm constantly trying to figure out how to raise my vibration, but you feel like there's something missing. Your root chakra or your sacral chakra could be out of balance. This could be because of not trusting others, having family issues, or heavily being in your divine masculine energy. Okay, so you guys are trying to heal a family wound and this family wound could end a certain hardship. Maybe there's somebody in your family that you're not speaking to. Maybe there's several people in your family that you're not speaking to. And that could be for a very good reason. If you guys have been on my channel a while, you guys know that I'm zero contact with my family for many reasons. I'm not going to stand for being kicked around like a garbage can. So there are a lot of family patterns and family hardships that I've had to heal from. So say you guys have gone zero contact with certain family members, you're right now trying to figure out, okay, now I know what the missing piece is. I need to forgive. Some of you guys could have not talked to your family in years and you're looking at it like, okay, I haven't talked to them and I'm proud of myself and I don't miss them, whatever, what have you, but you feel it in your heart, like it pulls Whatever they've done to you, it pulls on your heartstrings like it happened today, like it happened yesterday. And when that those thoughts are triggered, you're immediately brought to tears. You're immediately brought to this panic, this trauma. And so I tell you guys, be careful when you are reminiscing on certain family trauma, especially when you're speaking on it, going through the details all over again. It puts your body through the trauma all over again. So you guys feel like you're this caged bird and you know that you're not a caged bird. You know that the gate is open, you know that you can fly around, but for some reason you are at the next stage of your ascension and you're like, something is stopping me from knowing that what all that I have manifested is enough. There is something that you guys have committed to that is stressing you out it was like something that was fun and now it's something that's stressing you out because so much has unfolded you're like how do i maintain this so comment down below it is my time to shine god chose me for this industry i'm smoking out the devil's playground i am rebalancing my chakras i am healing family wounds i am healing from certain hardships i am getting ready to forgive May my enemies find their blessings elsewhere. My angels are on standby. I trust my intuition. I am loved. Okay, you guys are loved. So spirit is wanting to tell you, nothing can stop you. You are intelligent. You are authentic. Duh. You guys are going through a huge evolution. You are learning to align your life, attune, harmonize, close out certain cycles. So they really want you to know that everything you do is angelic. Don't be so hard on yourself. You guys feel like the black sheep and this is great for you. It's great to be the black sheep. You are unlike anyone else. So this is a lot of cord cutting that you guys are going to be doing by healing things that have happened to you and really forgiving it. And I, as hard as that is, I do not like to expedite forgiveness but you're starting to realize that not forgiving certain things and feeling like it just happened yesterday when it happened a couple of years ago is starting to show 
in what you're trying to create. You're realizing, oh my gosh, there's things I need to let go of because I'm not trusting the process. I'm not trusting my resources. I'm not trusting that I can maintain them. And this is a family pattern. So there is something in your bloodline. Okay, what I'm getting is there's something in your bloodline that you are trying to heal from on top of trauma. But this is all something that you guys are going to be overcoming. You feel like you're in an unknown destination. You're getting ready to plan, prepare. You're going to be gaining a new perspective. You are literally, quite literally, going to shake up the devil's playground. Because on the devil's playground are your enemies, the trolls, the Decepticons, but that's where all your trauma is being stirred up. And you guys are learning how to look it dead in the face. Like, I see you, bitch. Okay, and today's the day that I'm really going to work on forgiveness because I see where it's stunting my growth. So catch me outside. You feel me? Comment down below. I am heavenly. When I ask, I receive. I'm going to say that again. I am heavenly. When I ask, I receive. Period. So one of the anthems, the first anthem for this channel that I wrote a year and a half ago is we are divine. We are cosmic. We are humble. We are intuitive. We stand in our truth and we grow daily. And every day that we create a better life, every day that we create legacy wealth, the what? The devil comes to play. And we what? We only fuck with the light and that is on period. So spirit is really wanting you to pay attention to your psychic abilities. Because you are getting a lot of downloads. You are getting a lot of messages. You could be a life path number seven. You could be seeing a lot of eights or you could be a life path number eight. I got a lot of sevens and a lot of eights. You guys could be a Virgo, a Taurus, a Leo, a Cancer. You could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, and a Capricorn. So Spirit is wanting you to pay attention. If you guys are seeing feathers, I'm getting rabbits very heavily in this reading as well. So this is about your curiosity. That also has something to do with unlocking your creative side. So say there's a project that you've been wanting to work on, but you don't feel like it's going to perform well or that people are going to like take to it, just do it. If it fulfills you, if it makes you happy, it is your time to shine. Comment down below what I desire follows me. I don't chase, I attract. Wow. We got the magician. Did you guys see that flip across the table? You guys are the magician. So every time you really understand that you have all the resources that you need, you better sit down, meditate, and bring in some more shit. Whatever shit it is that you guys want to bring in. If you're like, you know, I want to learn how to calm down, be more present, and, and know that it is always in, enough. That's why I always talk to you guys about gratitude. When we are in a constant state of gratitude, we are able to change our vibration. But now we are working on another stage of shadow work, which is forgiveness. Okay, so right now your shadow is coming to play. Your shadow is coming to say hello. And what spirit wants us to do is address that. Face it head on. Comment down below. I face my fears with confidence. So we are learning how to face our shadow and say, okay, enough is enough. I got, I got to forgive. I got to learn to forgive or I got to start working on forgiveness because it's holding me back. So comment down below. I am reclaiming what is mine. I am breaking family chains. I am remembering my Akashic records. So what I'm getting is you guys have a strong desire to help. But spirit really wants you to put that on what makes you happy, okay? You guys have a desire to help and unite. And that's because you guys are a light worker. You are chosen. You are a healer. And they want you to focus more on self-care and what brings you ecstasy, what brings you joy. Because like what I wrote down in the downloads is authentic is the new cool, duh. 
Your energy makes people feel charged. It makes people feel good. But spirit wants you to feel good. Wants you to feel charged. So let's get the dirt. Let's get the tea. We got using children as manipulation. So again, with the family patterns, somebody uses children as manipulation. This could be a parent that is pinning siblings against each other. This could be a parent that is using money or a court situation. Um, this could be like fighting for custody, trying to adopt other family members. Um, just somebody is using children for manipulation. You guys, again, could be zero contact with your family and they see that you guys are doing better without them, okay? You guys are doing better without them. And if you guys were worried, okay, about what other people were thinking, people that could have helped raise you or people in your actual bloodline, they're watching you and they're stalking, okay? They're watching you and to them, you look like a rock star, okay? So you're here over here second guessing like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I feel like what I'm doing isn't right. I feel like it's boring. I feel like it's monotonous. And you have to realize again, as you are following your heart, you look like a rock star to those that doubted you. You look like a rock star to everyone around you that underestimated you. You guys are bossing up. As you guys are bossing up, these people might get you a little frazzled still because you are balancing out your sacral. These people might still get you a little frazzled because you are balancing out your root chakra. But you are no longer standing in the position of who gonna check me, boo. You're putting them where they go. They don't like that. Okay, so before you could have been real people pleasing with your uh, family dynamic, okay? And they've been busted. Somebody in this family or these people that you used to be friends with, they've been busted doing something. They've been caught red-handed. They could be in trouble with the law. Okay? They could be in trouble with the law. Just saying, yeah. Your mom, your dad, your sister could be a whole Karen, a whole demon in the house. Somebody has been really checking up on you. So comment down below, God, God chose me for this industry. God chose me for this industry. I am chosen. I am the star messenger. These Karens aren't going to stop you. These ops aren't going to stop you. Yeah, no Karen, copycat, op, or troll is going to stop you. So this person could have tried to act very threatening towards you, okay? Whoever this is that you're really trying to heal from. You're really trying to heal from these certain bonds and you feel like it's messing with your creativity. A, because you probably know if they're watching your social media, they're checking up on you. Second, because they know that they have affected your life in some way and you guys are really trying to learn how to move on from them. So they're literally watching your every move because like I said, people are drawn to you. You are the six of wands. Whether you are realizing that or not because you're, it's hard for you to stay in the moment, realize people are haunted by you. They think that you are like a rock star and you're over here thinking like it's never enough, I'm not good and you guys are realizing that you still have some pain left. We have hiding the pain behind the shades. You are realizing that you still have pain from these people, from childhood, from adolescence, from whatever period of time it's been. You're realizing that there's still some pain and it feels fresh just like yesterday. And you're like, nah, that can't stunt my growth anymore. I'm over that. You could be hearing negative narratives that they have told you in your life where it's made you like combative, it's made you feel crazy, it's made you doubt yourself. So you guys are trying to block out these family patterns. You were trying to block out certain trauma and you feel like your shadow's like, well, we're about to go a whole nother round because you're still doubting your worth. Comment down below, I am worthy every day of the week. Comment down below, I am learning to heal things that are hard. 
I am learning how to forgive things that are hard, things that were traumatic. You guys have had enough. You guys have seen where your where your shadow is trying to lead you. Shadow is trying to lead you off a cliff and you're like, uh, I'm taking this chariot by the reins. We're going this way. Don't try me. Okay, don't start none. Won't be none. We got crazy bitch. Whoever the, the matriarch or patriarch of this family is, they're still talking shit. And that's okay. You guys intuitively already know that. And you're just like... You could be a whole demon in the house on that side of the street. Okay. You know they're obsessed with you. So I'm getting that you're also being watched because you guys have unexpectedly fallen in love. Some of you guys could be trying to protect this union. You could be trying to protect this relationship from these people. And also I'm getting that you guys want to do this work because you realize it's affecting certain things with intimacy. Being able to trust being able to let go of certain things. So I'm seeing that you guys really want that relationship to this relationship to go well. And you're realizing where you're at fault, which is very big of you. Okay. You're realizing where you're aggressive. You're realizing where you sabotage. You're realizing where you don't trust. And you're like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've already seen this dynamic play out. I know how it ends. I know what type of relationship it looks like, and I don't want that. I don't want that for my divine, divine counterpart. We got triggered. You guys could feel easily triggered by whoever these people are. This is another red flag to you. So I feel like you guys are going to be running into somebody, okay? You could be running into like a mutual friend or running into a family member that you do still speak to. And you're going to be telling them like, yeah, I've moved on. I'm doing good. They're going to say something to you that is going to trigger you. Okay, so there's a trigger warning. They're going to say something to you that's going to get you like your blood boiling. And just when you thought like they couldn't get under your skin, you're like, your eye is like twitching. You're like, they said what? They said who? They said what? So drop your scissors down below because... You got to know they love attention. They're opportunists. They're thirsty. Little Decepticons. The house. For anybody new to my channel, the house is a big old exclamation point. Okay? They love attention. They love it. They love it. They love it. And they're realizing that you are thriving without their support. Not to say that they were supporting you, you anyways. Okay? Shutting you down constantly was not supporting you anyways, but you guys are realizing, no, I am all that and a bag of chips. I am the magician. I obtained a lot of this on my own without their, their help, their support, and their gifts on a string. Yeah, they tried to confuse you. They, they tried to um, make you feel bad for loving on yourself, for changing, for glowing up. They tried to make you feel bad for doing that. So I'm definitely getting family vibes. Definitely getting family vibes. So somebody in this group is getting in trouble with the law, okay? And a lot of people in this group are having relationship issues and they're realizing where they went wrong in their relationship with you, but they're not ready to admit it or address it. Okay, whoever this is, they're still attention seeking. They're not wanting to admit any fault. So we got kiss my ass to the haters, okay? You guys are no longer... Let me backtrack. You guys feel like after you're told whatever this triggering news is about them talking shit, that you're like more dedicated more than ever to really fix things that you don't like about yourself because you're seeing that like, A, these people, this group is never going to change. You're seeing that it's affecting your intimacy now. You're seeing that it's, a, it's affecting your creativity right now and that it makes you aggressive in certain ways. Okay, so somebody's bringing you some bullshit. A mutual somebody is bringing you some bullshit about this group. 
and a lot of it is lies because they're not they're not willing to admit the truth it's going to bother you like some of this trauma happened yesterday this is going to be your clue to move on because you're realizing like okay my thoughts are way too passionate about this thing that unfolded this memory that unfolded and you're realizing damn i have not let go of that yet and i'm gonna have to do that because i'm not gonna be feeling this way every time i have a run-in or they get brought up or whatever what have you and you're not gonna dodge them either you're not looking for them but you're not gonna dodge people that are mutual you just had enough of what you see in yourself and what's stopping you you're realizing that this always needing the next best thing, always needing the next best thing has something to do with how you were raised, okay? Being in some type of toxic masculine energy where you're like, I always got to do more. It's always got to be better. You're realizing, okay, I don't want to end up like this person. That's not who I am. I'm not going to let them attack me either. Comment down below. I am immune to their attacks, okay? I am immune to their attacks. They want you to have financial issues. They want you to have relation issues. They've been studying you so hard that it's giving them wrinkles. They've been evil lying so hard. It's giving them wrinkles. It's making their hair gray. It's aging them. Okay. You guys are keeping it cute and keeping it private. So comment down below. I am keeping it cute and I am keeping it private. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know that they're talking about you. You could be hearing a lot of ringing in your ears. Okay, so some of you guys could be clear audience. Whoever I'm speaking to, they made you believe a lie. They made you believe several lies. And this has been really hard for you guys to let go of. So you're ready to work on it. Comment down below. What I desire follows me. I am radiant. I am talented. I am beautiful. I trust my intuition. I know every day that I am loved. And I enjoy following my heart's desires. You were meant to be successful. They're looking at you like, ah, oh, they're so privileged. They're this, they're that. Like that Miley Cyrus song. I got two ooh, ooh letters for you. One of them's F and the other one's U. Because what you got to do is get yourself a clue. You just got to laugh it off. You got to laugh it off because you know they're staring and gawking. They want a whole beef with you. They can have one. This is definitely some family group-ish where they are doing the most. Some of them could be talking to your ex. What the fuck? They're just a whole weather disaster. And spirit is bringing down the thunder. The thunder. Somebody in that group could be going through unexpected pregnancy. And somebody in that group is going to have mad receipts busted out on them. Receipts that they cannot run from. So... Don't mess with somebody that's chosen. It's your power that they want. Okay? It's your power that they want. They want to wreak havoc in your life. They cannot. And that's just it. Okay? So Spirit wants you to know that they're doing some really shady things still in their life. They're, they've been hiding a lot of different things for you, though. I feel like you guys are zero contact. Um, I feel like even the people that are mutual, that are bringing you information, are lying about certain things to you they could be lying about this group's health unpaid bills and them having very toxic relationships that are unfolding so there's that okay you guys are going through a voice activation and that is because you're moving from a state of thinking that you're a one-hit wonder thinking that whatever you just manifested will shortly fizzle to understanding that you have a voice you are a boss and whatever you do, it's gold. Even if it doesn't make a lot of money, it's gold because it's something that you tried and you are learning how to really up your confidence by following your heart. That's really being fearless. That's really being brave by following your heart and telling others, you know, that's what I like to do. And, you know, if it doesn't do well or people don't really take to it, I don't really care because it's what I need to do for me on the inside. Okay, so again, about up upping your self-care. I've been getting that message for you guys a lot. And 
You guys are just going to be stepping into this goddess, god energy. You guys, ooh, look what we got. Getting serious about the changes that you need to make. Comment down below. I am getting serious about the changes that I need to make. You are going viral, inspirational. People are enjoying this new wave. So people might not be saying a lot. That's why this is the download. Your energy leaves people stunned, speechless, activated, charged, in a trance. Leaves them haunted, leaves them hungry and wanting more. So just because people are stunned and speechless and they're not saying anything does not mean that they are not enjoying what you are doing. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you guys have a social media platform or you guys are, you guys do a lot of public speaking or you're in front of others often and you guys do something with the way that you guys deliver messages. I got this song by Skylar Gray, Wreak Havoc. This goes to the Suicide Squad uh, soundtrack and whatever your heart is feeling called to, spray it. Spray it on everyone on social media. Just do it. Whatever it is, do it fearlessly because you will wreak havoc. Means you're coming to slay. You're coming to smoke out the whole block of snakes, Decepticons. You're here to smoke out the devil's playground, okay? The, la the labyrinth of fuckery. You're here to smoke it out, all out because in every part of this has a little bit of your shadow okay the snakes on the block the labyrinth of fuckery the hamster wheel of dog shit and the devil's playground they all have parts of your shadow that you guys are getting ready to heal and a lot of it ties back to negative fa family patterns okay so like on the devil's playground having to do with enemies family that you've cut off you're realizing, okay, my growth is stunted right now and it's hard for me to be intimate with others because I have not let go of what everyone on that playground, everyone in that sandbox of bullshit has done to me and I gotta let it go. Some of you guys could feel like your growth is stunted from five years old. What I want you guys to do, whoever I'm speaking to that feels like you are still having traumatic thoughts from when you were really, really little, I want you guys to think about the things that you thoroughly enjoyed at five, six, seven, eight years old. Okay, whatever age group it is and go back to doing those things. Okay, say it's going to McDonald's. Okay, or collecting rocks, going outside, going swimming, going for a walk, singing while you go for a walk. Things that you enjoy, getting stuffed animals, my little ponies. I don't give a bleepity bleep what it is. Totally dive into that. Things that you feel like were taken from you, feels like, things that you feel like you were robbed of, dive deep into your inner child healing because your inner child is ready to thrive. Comment down below, my inner child is ready to, to thrive. And because your inner child will be beaming, because your inner child will be thriving, you are gonna become more and more popular. Six of Wands. You guys are going to become more and more popular because you are learning, okay, authentic is the new cool. And though not everyone is ready to, to even really marinate in what I'm doing, I know they see that I'm doing the damn thing. Comment down below. I am an inspiration even on my worst day. Okay. I am an inspiration even on my worst day. So we got Fountain of Youth. As you guys do this inner child healing, you're going to realize how intelligent you are. You're going to realize how limitless you are. You're going to realize how lucky you are. When you have the things that you need, okay, that has a lot to do with your root chakra. It makes it easier to meditate. And meditating is how you guys, whoever I'm speaking to, that's how you guys bring through, be, what? <laughs> that's how you bring things in. Let me drink some coffee. Because right now you guys feel like whatever you've brought in, for some reason, you guys feel like it's temporary. You feel like it's hocus pocus. It's a visual effect. It's a fluke. It's a mirage. It's not what it seems. So you guys are concerned that what you have brought in will soon like flutter away or fly away. Instead of realizing I worked really hard for this 
it's here to stay. So this has something to do with a family pattern and how you were raised. So healing this family pattern and whatever is going on in your 12th house, this is about your hidden strengths and weaknesses on the unconscious and karma. This is about hidden truth, secrets, and your dreams. So there's a lot that you guys are assessing right now. And spirit really wants you to be easy on yourself, take things slowly so you can get back to vibrating high and creating the things that you want to create. Another message that I'm getting is you're trying to figure out how to intensify your manifestations. And this has something to do with your intimacy. So that's why I'm saying it's your sacral and it's your root. For some of you guys, it's both. And for some of you guys, it's just the sacral or it's just the root chakra that is out of alignment. You guys are a mental force to be reckoned with. You guys are reclaiming your power. You're learning how to truly express your truth. So part of that is going to be following your heart. I've been telling you guys this for a couple of weeks now. When you guys follow your heart, instead of like going through the motions, doing what you got to do, being heavily in your masculine energy, you guys are realizing that this is what makes you successful. This is what makes you feel limitless. Just doing what you want to do instead of putting so much restraint on what you're trying to bring out of yourself. Like you're trying to be more creative. You're trying to have more wisdom. There's just things that in your 12th house that you are trying to unlock you know that these things are hidden deep, deep, deep down, but you're like, I'm freaking over it. I want to bring it out. I want to, I want to really just, you want to feel like a mogul in what you're doing. You want to feel like you are the best and spirit is saying you already are. You are a force to be reckoned with. You've reclaimed your power. You've gone through spiritual warfare. Okay. You guys are realizing that you are extremely lucky in the things that you do. And you guys are going to be getting a lot of confirmation about the luck that you have. Okay, I just got a notification on my phone as I was saying that. So I'm taking that as confirmation. You guys are going to get a lot of synchronicities about how lucky you are. You're going to be looking at other people's circumstances and realizing, you know what, I got to, I need to, I need to reel it back. I need to knock my own shadow down a peg or five. I need to start ego shedding because I could have it way worse. Take your time, okay? Comment down below. Even on my worst day, I am flawless, okay? Even on my worst day, I am flawless. Big money is coming in for you guys. So what I'm getting to is whoever I'm speaking to, stop worrying about money. You guys are worried um, about money because of a family pattern. Maybe your family likes to spend money a certain way. Maybe they like to only give people things with like a string attached to it. Whatever this family pattern is, try to focus on breaking that chain. Okay, not just affirmations, not just, you know, actually looking at it and analyzing why do I feel this way about money? Why do I feel like when I get it, I don't know how to maintain it or I don't want to spend it? Well, I'm afraid for the number to move in my bank account. I, I don't want to swipe this credit card. Whatever it is, Spirit is saying, you are unlocking many miracles in your life. You have big money coming in. And the more you aren't worried or concerned, the more it's just going to keep pouring in. So they want you to pay attention to the messages, your dreams, the bugs that you're seeing. Look up what, they, what they're supposed to mean. Because I'm getting a lot about birds. I'm getting a lot about spiders. And I'm getting a lot about feathers. And I'm getting a lot about rabbits. Wow. So we got... Actually, let me shuffle this again. See the magicians trying to pop out. You guys are magic. Don't let anybody tell you different. Especially your shadow. Especially your ego. You guys are always like in future planning. Instead of like going with your gut reaction, instead of having more fun, you guys feel sometimes that it's not safe for you to feel good. It's not safe for you to celebrate. It's not safe for, no, 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 
comment down below. I am slowing down to enjoy the feast that God has prepared. I am slowing down to enjoy the feast. Comment down below. I am safe. Some of you guys are trying to over plan and it's taking away from your creativity. Spirit really wants you to enjoy the ride. Comment down below. I am the fool. I'm going to enjoy the ride. And I'm going to bring my little dog too. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the ride and I'm going to bring my little dog too. Because right now you guys are the wounded warrior not seeing that you were holding the ace of pentacles. Okay. Right now you guys are the nine of wands and you're like laying on this wand like fuck. I am so tired. I am so burnt out. Why isn't this fun? I want to be creative and flowing and going and stunting. and But you feel like something is stopping you. You feel like something is stopping you. I'm telling you guys, keep getting the Ace of Pentacles. You, Spirit does not want you to worry about money. Spirit does not want you to even worry about money. You have so many happy joyous surprises in store for you like you everything i'm getting is surprise wish fulfillment surprise miracle and you're like no 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 it's an it's an illusion Brittany. it's not gonna last long bad things always happen to me things are they go good and then they go bad and then they go good and they i want you to look at me dead in my face okay whoever i'm speaking to cut the shit okay you are no longer trapped okay you guys are no longer this bird you are free to fly you are free to soar you better ask somebody okay i'm taking the blindfold off you winning is not an optical illusion there are people that would kill to thrive how you're thriving even on your worst day because you guys show people i am brave i am strong I'm here to slay. I'm here to conquer. So you guys are going to be doing a lot of healing. Three of Swords in reverse. You guys are going to be healing these family patterns. I love this for you guys. And guess what? As soon as you start working on that, like really giving it your best shot, 333 three, three could be the angel number that you're seeing, my favorite angel number. And you guys are going to get right back to planning, go getting, following your heart, getting that fire in your belly. Put your dragons down below. Comment down below. I breathe fire into everything I do. And then bam, your ships are going to be coming in again and again and again. So Spirit is saying, stop worrying about the how, the who, the when, and tomorrow. They really want you guys to enjoy the moment more. This is something that's really hard for you guys to do. And I totally resonate with that. It is really hard for you guys to see that tomorrow is going to be okay. You don't have to overdo it. You are the empress. And for you to truly be in your divine feminine feminine energy, that means that you are great at receiving. You are great at receiving. So if you feel like your sacral uh, chakra is off, then we need to work on balancing out giving and receiving. Balancing family healing from family wounds and patterns that have caused us hardships okay you guys are more than welcome to in the comments comment down below a family pattern that has hindered you okay comment down below a family pattern that has hindered you in relationships or in the workplace and now this is something that you have overcome okay so i want you guys to comment down below a family hardship that you've overcome because you started reflecting and seeing how it was affecting you in relationships or in the workplace. For me, I think it was really using my voice. So we're talking about Empress energy. I think for me, it was really using my voice. I was always silenced, always censored as a child. And so it was really hard for me when I, start, I first started on my platform to not second guess everything I said. And it really started holding back my wish fulfillment. So I want you guys to do whatever it was at that age 
okay? Even the Empress has a three at the top of it, three, three, three. Well, at whatever age you feel like your growth was stunted, your emotional IQ, I want you guys to reach out and do that. Like for me, I was not allowed to sing, okay? When I was five and six and seven, and I lived with my mom for a short period of time, I was not allowed to sing. And at that age, I loved Mariah Carey and Paula Abdul and Janet Jackson. Just like I loved women that sung beautifully, Whitney Houston. And I, even though I didn't feel like I could like hit every note, I still felt like I was an okay singer. And my mom would shut it down. Let your sister sing. Stop singing. I'm going to put your sister in voice lessons. Stop singing. Stop singing. That really affected me throughout life where I would only sing when like people weren't around. I just, this, these birds, these caged birds, this is about singing anyways, taking flight anyways. So what has happened to you back then that you're going to face head on and say, <laughs> even on my worst day, I will do that. I will sing anyways. Because yeah, it started affecting me in my courage okay double the double card in reverse so you guys are definitely breaking chains you guys are putting a gag order on your shadow you were sending a cease and desist to your ego and your shadow you're like i'm gonna need you two to zip it i got things that i'm working on okay and i'm real excited about it and i'm not gonna let you you or whoever shut it down i am here to stay you feel me? Whoa. Yeah, you guys are stepping into your Empress energy. Ooh, we got the world card. You guys are going to start feeling really complete as, as things are taking flight in your life. Remember, you guys are the fool. You guys are the magician. You guys are the Empress. You guys are the world. Your world is going to feel complete instead of feeling shattered. And you're really going to start looking at the world differently because you're going to slow down and enjoy the feast that you deserve. You are going to be rocking the crown that you deserve. I love that. I want you guys to drop your crystal balls down below. Okay, drop down angel number 1111 and 111. And I want you guys to tell me what your psychic abilities are. Are you claircognizant? Are you clairvoyant? Are you clairsentient? Are you clairaudient? Tell me what your clairs are, okay? So drop your clairs down in the comments and put I am reclaiming what is mine, that you guys can do anything and that you guys can build intimacy. You guys can trust other people. You can be in sync. You can be in love. You can have new beginnings. You can have a fresh start. You can be vulnerable with others. So comment down below. I am radiant. I am talented. I am beautiful. My angels give me signs daily. I am ready for anything. I am excited. God goes hard for me. I am following my heart's desires. Judgment is here. And I am ready to start this new phase. So we have new beginnings. This new beginnings has to do with your rapid growth. The flamingos has to do with... The long-term, what's it called? The long-term potential of meeting a soulmate. You guys are going to be realizing that you can thrive in love. Maybe you think like, nah, love makes me weak. I don't need to be doing, I don't need to be doing all that. And you're going to be realizing that you can co-create. You can trust others. And that people will work with you as a team effort. So this is also another part of being in your divine feminine energy, which is letting others support you, letting others help you. So comment down below. I am ready to let others help me. I am ready to receive help from others. So let's get you guys an angel number. Wow, we got three, six, six. So if anybody wants to comment down below if this number is synchronistic to them or if they want to comment down below what this angel number means, we have angel number 366. Okay, I hope that this message helped you guys. Let me know down in the comments how this resonates. 
Don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. Don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh. And I will see you guys in the next one.